All right, here's what it's like to have a, a low stall. I think this one is considered a 10% a stall reduction. So when you put it in gear, it drops down pretty good. Mine smokes a little bit at idle. But if you're trying to launch, it loads up pretty good on fuel. But I've got some stuff in the back of the truck, so I can't haul. But I've got a steel flatbed. I don't think it weighs any more than a regular bed. But when you let off the gas, or let off the brake, and just idle, it, it starts to move. You know, it doesn't take any any sort of acceleration. So we'll do like a little quarter throttle. Drivability goes, it's, it's pretty nice. The motor is, as we say, strung up all the time. It just kind of loads along. Gauges, turbo technology, turbocharger. I think it's a 64, 14, 65, or something like that. Um, and then the transmission has been built. It's got 354 gears in it, ARP head studs, and the, the Donaldson filter, so it's the turbo gets kind of whistly. It makes for a, a nicer drive, and then the front end, the front end's been upgraded with all polyurethane, so it's, it stays pretty straight. The low stall makes for a, a pretty nice daily cruise around. I don't think it would work that great for racing because it loads up so much off of idle, and it, uh, I mean, it just. And stop lights, you kind of got to be careful if the fuel plate and stuff is turned up. Uh, it will just. If you really get into it, it, it loads up pretty good until the turbo starts to spool up. Anywho, I've seen a few people on forums asking about low stalls. think on them I don't think I've gone over 2,000 rpms this week with 354 gears at 2,000 it's running like 80 81 miles an hour and this trucks too old to be going that fast I just keep it about 60 65 plus the Houston road sucks so that's the way that goes